guys far away. Justin, how would you assess um, first game, and could you uh, describe what happened on the two fumble exchanges? Yeah, I think overall, um, I think we ran the ball well, moved the ball well, and I think, you know, just the summary of the game, we were just shooting ourselves in the foot. Uh, fumble snaps, I think all three phases. So uh, we can definitely be better in that part. And, um, you know, I think the snapping part, we just got to be on the same page. Uh, you know, just so I, I, I would put that on, you know, me to uh, just be on the same page and, you know, know who's in that center, know uh, how to adjust and what I need to do when, you know, next in the game. So. Get the chance to look at the incompletion of Van Jefferson. Yeah, I thought he was in bounds. I'm not gonna lie, okay. but um, yeah. Okay. So. Did you was Farmuth open over the middle? Yeah. Um, no. Nah, I, I think the uh, defender did a good job undercutting him. So, okay. I mean, it would have been a perfect place ball, but yeah, no. Nah. But it looked like Van got in. Right? I think Van was in. Yeah. Started out five for five. How did you feel about your rhythm just coming out? I feel like I, I was in a good rhythm. Like I said, I think we were moving the ball well. I think, you know, just those um, the, the fumble snaps, you know, things like that, uh, they can kill a whole drive. But I think uh, the overall rhythm of things, I think we were in and out of the huddle, huddle fast and um, felt, felt good overall. From what you've learned about this offense having the last few weeks of practice, OTA is now in the game, how do you feel like it helps you and can support you as a you know, quarterback? Um, I mean, I feel like, you know, Arthur is good at game planning to uh, every player's on offense our strengths. So, um, you know, as long as we're, you know, playing to our strengths, doing what everybody does well and getting them the ball on certain concepts, certain routes. And of course, you know, running the ball is always going to be a big part of who we are. As long as we do that and, you know, execute like we know how to execute, um, I think we'll be great. What do you think worked out better on that third drive, especially when Zach Frazier went <coughs> and rotated in center? I just don't think uh, there weren't, there wasn't any fumble snaps. Like I said, it's, it's, it's hard to uh, put a drive together when you're, you know, have a fumble snap and you're second and 13 and you're behind the stick. So, um, like I said, just the self-inflicted wounds are the only things that, you know, hurt us, especially when I was in the game. So, yeah. Do you feel like you learned anything about this offense, getting some, some odd game reps? In uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, you can kind of get a feel on, you know, what Arthur's thinking, how he um, goes about the game, you know, how he uh, just communicates with you on the sideline and stuff like that. So that was, you know, good. Um, just, you know, being with them and kind of having a real in-game experience with them. And of course, you know, all the coaches and stuff like that, uh, like Tom and stuff like that. So um, just the whole process of everything, I'm um, just kind of getting used to everything. But I think the overall process went well and just the uh, logistics of everything went well. You were saying as an opponent, you noticed that Arthur's a little fiery on the sideline. Mm -hmm. Is he different today than he has been in training camp? Uh, I mean, you know, I think he's a, I think he's in a different role now. So of course, he's not going to. You know, step on anybody's toes, but again, this is the this, this is the preseason. You never know, um, you know what can happen as the season uh, moves along. But um, yeah. So. What, was, what was some of the feedback that he that you got from him and maybe you know, Coach Arthur, anyone else, uh, about your rhythm, especially early on when you were able to connect on several of the early throws? Um, I mean, nothing crazy. I think that's what ex is expected at the end of the day. So um, you know, just moving the ball, getting completions, and you know, um, not uh, making any you know, dumb decisions or. Uh, Aaron throws and just being smart with it. So the feedback, how about what you and Russ talked about on the sideline? Um, I mean, yeah, he was just there uh, encouraging me. Um, and we were just kind of looking at the iPads after every drive. And, you know, he was being a great teammate today. So. Justin, just, what are your takeaways from this one? Um, like I said, just can't shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, have to uh, do the routine things routinely. Um, QC exchange. And um, like I said, I think, you know, that's the thing that stopped us uh, when our, when we were driving the ball well. Um, it's, it's, it's not a good feeling when you're second and 13, second and 14. It's, 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 it's hard to score like that. So. What's the fun? It's kind of move. are more comfortable with certain routes in terms of uh, that, that you feel more comfortable throwing maybe certain routes to certain receivers. Uh, most definitely. Um, I do think our receiving group is uh, versatile. I think a lot of people can do a lot of things. So, um, you know, it's great for our offense. It makes our offense more complex when we're able to put guys at different spots and, um, you know, they can run just the same concepts or different routes and stuff like that. So it's just great having a, a versatile group of receivers who can do a lot of things. What's the focus moving forward, just specifically with one more week left in the trip? I think just, uh, you know, tighten up the details. Like I said, um, I think we're, you know, focusing on um, just controlling what we control and um, not shooting ourselves in the foot, like you know, it's just it's just a repetitive thing. Uh, as long as we do that, 
uh, put ourselves in great field position and um, you know do the routine things routinely. Um, I think we'll be great because other than that, I think we you know like I said before, just moved the ball well. I think we executed well, ran the ball well, and you know we were when we were doing the routine things routinely. Of course, the ball was moving downfield, so just doing that. Brendan two QB center exchange. Was there something the same thing happened or was it different? Or? I think it was the same thing that happened. So um like I said, we're gonna you know get some extra work at that this week and uh make sure it doesn't happen again. I know that it was just a preseason game, one. but what did it feel like being announced as a starter, new crowd, new uniform, all of those things? Did it feel surreal at all? Yeah, I mean it was cool. It was cool. Um I think our uniforms are really cool. I like the black and yellow, black and gold. So um it, it was awesome to you know, put the new threads on and uh, kind of get in a new stadium, get, in, get a new feel, and um, it, was, it, was, it was awesome. Do you have a couple nice from impressions those, to... uh, rookie linemen in front of you suiting up for their uh, first NFL game? I'm sorry? Any impressions of those rookie linemen in front of you suiting up for their first NFL Yeah, game? I mean, the biggest thing is with the younger guys is, you know, it's their first NFL game, so you just try to talk to them before the game, uh, try to get a sense of how they're feeling, and, you know, just try to comfort them. Um, Troy actually asked me a couple of days ago if I was – Nervous, my uh, first NFL game, and I said, of course. But um, you know, if you're not nervous, then I mean, I, th I think nerves come. You know, you can be uh, two, three years in the league, and first game still comes, and you still might have a little nerves in you. But um, you know, like I th like I think after a few plays, first first few plays you're in there. I mean, it just goes back to playing football. So um, you know, I think those guys are just doing a great job, uh, growing and learning, and of course, they're just going to get better as, as as time goes along. You had a couple completions to George tonight. What has, uh, and you've been obviously had a connection with him in Latrobe. What has led to you to developing that chemistry? Um, I think just reps. Um, like I said, I've you know got an opportunity to run with the ones. So um, just me and him gaining that connection back, um, and you know just getting on the same page. But of course, you know uh, he's a great receiver, especially with the ball ball in his hands. Um, you just want to give him the ball, and uh, he'll make sure he gets some yards after the catch. So he did. He showed that today, and. I'm excited to see, you know, uh, what he does next week. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you guys.